Hey guys, welcome back. This is the 11th video of our Ruby on Rails frequently asked question series. In this video, we will look at another 10 frequently asked question in which are which has been asked in Ruby on Rails interview. Okay, so let's start with the first question of this video. Why does Ruby not support method overloading? What are modules in Ruby? How can you differentiate class and instance methods in a module? So module are an instance important aspect of ruby programming language and you face a lot of the situation where you have to work with modules okay so when you work with modules when you write your own modules custom modules and use existing modules in ruby then you can know what is what are the modules and please try to implement class methods and instance methods in a module and then you will know the difference between what is the class methods in modules and what is the class method is in a class and you can know the uh, different way of writing that okay so let's work with module and then you can get more better with that what is the difference between after save and after commit so both after save and after commit are the active record callbacks where after save only works for update and create where but the after commit works for create update and delete what are mixins in Ruby? So mixins are also that you can learn while working with modules. What do you mean by the send method in Ruby? So send is a type of method calling in Ruby. Using send method, you can call a method as a uh, by providing that method name is a string, uh, string argument to the send. Have you worked with Sidekick? Why it is used for? Uh, sidekick is mainly used for uh, background job processing okay like uh, if there is a very heavy application which is intended to set send uh, multiple emails to multiple users uh, or generate uh, some conversion like pdf to image or image to pdf or video to images or downloading videos so for such kind of background processing or large background processing you can use the sidekick gem okay and then you can answer this question However, this is asked only for the developer uh, experience developers, like uh, if you have experience of three to four years, okay, then it is mainly asked to you. What is the difference between basic version of Sidekick and Sidekick Pro? If you answer that you know the Sidekick, then 99% client asks this counter question that, okay, you have used Sidekick, then let me know what is the difference between basic version of Sidekick and Pro version of Sidekick. Okay, so there is a... Uh, difference between both and when you work with that then you can know the difference if you haven't worked with the pro version yet still you can study it on web and you can answer that accordingly because uh, sometimes uh, basic version of sidekick is enough okay uh, unless the uh, application is very heavy on production okay when it is uh, heavy and then if you use the sidekick pro version then you can answer that question but uh, still try to investigate it at yourself and try to learn from Web, uh, web browsers what are perform and perform async method in sidekick what is the difference between them okay so perform and perform async both are used to uh, execute the sidekick worker classes because sidekick use the worker classes to perform background job processing okay and when you work with sidekick and worker class then you can know the difference between perform and perform async job okay so start working with sidekick and know the difference between both of the actions what is the difference between let and let with bang in R spec? Okay, uh, this question is asked to, to me in a couple of interviews. First time I haven't answered that, but second time I work with R spec and I answered them. And you can also work with R spec and then you can know the difference between let and let with bang. What are the callbacks? Explain for both the model and controller. So as we know that callback can be used in both controllers and models as well. The callbacks we use in model known as active record callbacks. Okay. Some examples are like before save, before update, before create, before commit, after destroy, after commit, after save. Okay. And the callbacks we use in controllers normally usually known as filter actions. Okay. And these are uh, some kind of like uh, before action, after action, around action, skip before action skip after action okay so these are the these are such callbacks okay so these are the 10 questions from this video 
so thank you for watching this let's meet in another video with another 10 important questions till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe and subscribe the channel for more